Good afternoon YouTube. This is Flight Some Guy and this is it. It's my second flight in my Florida series from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale and this is a very crucial flight because it determines the fate of my boxed install. Um, I've hacked at this thing for weeks and last night Microsoft put out a really really big update to Windows 10. So if I can't make this flight in the Phenom um, I'm going to consider my box install dead, simple as that, and do what I can with Steam. Because I've had all sorts of issues since uh, Microsoft upgraded me to Windows 10 and I haven't been able to get this thing stabilized. But I think I'm there, hopefully, and uh, we'll see if we can get it done. Alright, so we're in the Phenom, we're in Atlanta, I'm going to go to Fort Lauderdale. Um, pretty straightforward flight plan 556 miles so we're looking at about uh, almost two hours for this aircraft two to two and a half hours oh man I'm gonna be so late for dinner my girlfriend's gonna be mad at me anyway I'm loaded up let's get inside and let's get started Hello, unit. okay there. Alright, so I'm going to have to uh, modify the uh, amount of time it takes for the, the INS to align. Uh, since there's not much to get started up in this aircraft, it doesn't need to be this long. Alright. Alright, I think we're ready to taxi. No takeoff. Trim. No takeoff. Break. Okay, got to get my trim fixed. There we go. I think that'll do it. Alright, so the time of day, um, it's pushing 8 o'clock and we're down in Atlanta, so by the time we get to Fort Lauderdale, it's going to be dark. And um, that should make for an, uh, an interesting ride. Alright, so far I'm getting average frames considering the traffic. Now if I can make this flight to Fort Lauderdale and not crash, I should declare victory. Should be okay. But the 
devil is going on here? Is this my runway? Uh, no, it's not a bit. Nine left. No, nope, that's nine left. It's my runway. We got some rain. Let's go. That should be good to go. Take off, okay. There we go. Got a little bit of rain. Um, yeah, that, that, that weather doesn't look too bad, so. Alright, folks, wish me luck. up to the ground, stay in the ground effect. That's where I have induced drag, not parasitic drag. Gear up. Or friction drag or whatever. Alright, friction to change approved. Let's go ahead and engage the autopilot. Heading. Pretty good speed. Look, the flight director. Speed. Autopilot disconnect. It looks like it did. Huh, about that. I wonder if the real phenom does that. Just when I was about to stall, the autopilot turned off. It's huh, pretty cool.
Alright, leveling off at our assigned cruising altitude. Looks pretty good outside. And it's gonna be a while before I get to my destination, so I think I'll go have dinner anyway. Just leave it on autopilot. Um, my top of descent will be around Roxanne. And that's gonna be about 40, about 40 to 50 minutes out. Alright, so, just got back from dinner, oh man, that was good dinner, and it looks like we are hitting some turbulence, uh, let's take a look at how things are on the outside, getting bounced around pretty good, uh, flying over some thunderstorms it looks like. But so far so good, it's been holding the course on autopilot uh, having a hard time with the altitude but that's probably because of the uh, turbulence I'm putting up here. Let's see. Alright, let's take a look see what the weather is at Fort Lauderdale. And the weather is Few clouds at 6,000, few at 12,000, scattered at 25,000. We'll see. BFR. Altimeter 3009. Let's see how far we are from top of descent. 76. Um, Still a decent amount, decent uh, distance away. Once I'm past the rock sand waypoint, I can go ahead and start coming down. All right, we past the rock sand waypoint. We are within. Let's see, that's 45. We're within 100 miles, so I can go ahead start my descent. So first thing I want to do is record to this on the my glad pad. Let's go ahead and take it down to about 15,000 feet. Reduce power to about 25%. Lawdale has two runways left to right. 28 left, 28 right, and 10 left and 10 right. Winds are coming in at 060, so they should put me on 10. Alright, active sky nets is loading the uh, weather textures. And so far, uh, the 26, 2016 version of active sky nets looks pretty good. Does a very good job of simulating weather. Okay, now why am I getting this now? I've been looking for this forever. Alright, it appears according to this flight plan, Swags, Jingle, Jerem, EPAC are all part of the Jingle 4 uh, star. So let's take a look at that. That's the difference in flight simulation when it comes to 
difference between flying small, simple aircraft and larger aircraft. The principles are all the same. What's different is the risk involved and the margin for error. Larger, more complex aircraft require much more planning ahead of time. And if you do screw something up, the uh, window for correcting is smaller and smaller the larger and more complex the aircraft is. At least that's what I've learned. Uh, looking at these uh, approach charts, there's two frequencies. The tower and the radio can't get to the next one, 257.8. I'm not exactly sure what that is. If somebody can explain that to me, that'd be great. Alright, 119.3. Let's go ahead and do Alright, mean safe altitude. Fort Lauderdale is 2100 feet and 30 miles out. I'm gonna go come and take it down to 3,000. All right, we're coming straight in. We are how many miles out? 20 something. All right, so we want niner left. Wait, 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 what did this thing say? Nine left. But according to the approach chart, it's ten left. Oh man, I really need to update all this information. Alright, so let's go ahead and where is my heading bug? Bring that over here. Switching that to heading back to the eye. One one zero point one is the ILS frequency. And there we go. The low the glide path. I picked up the ILS. What I need to do is come right a little bit. Intercept. 17 miles out. Let's cut a new track. Alright, let's get rid of the flight plan. Let's go ahead and zoom in. There we go. And we have a little bit of a haze. Oh, I'm pretty low. That's my speed. And I'm coming in a little bit fast. Um, 16 miles out. So. Let's go ahead and reduce the speed. The glide slope. So at this point, autopilot is coming off. Okay, that didn't do it. Autopilot. Autopilot. Key assignments and they've gotten screwed up. Alright, where's the runway? It should be right over here. And there we go. We've got visual on the runway. Gear down.
Which laps are we at? Okay, so he's going to tell me to go around. Um, you know what? I think this time around I will comply. Or maybe he'll get the order to go around. One of us will. Turbulence. All right, that's no bueno, and I don't have the options to do clear it missed. One water now tower four eight two one zero miles west inbound visual runway nine right approach three three five go around four eight two four Lauderdale tower five straight in runway nine right. Okay, he got the order to go around, not me. So I'm coming in. Let's just hope his wake turbulence doesn't screw me up. Alright, gear is down. Full flaps. Alright. I've been stalling this thing on the runway the last few times I've landed. I don't want that to happen again this time, so... I'm going to make sure I have about... 50% of my engines. A little bit fast, but I'll go ahead and kill the bottle right about here. 100. There's a wake turbulence. 40. 30. God damn it! 10. Uh, all right, you know what? These um, these Embraer flights have not been working out very well for me. Okay. Laps up. At least I didn't crash. I just ran off the runway a little bit. Oh man, I'm losing it. All right, let's get off the runway. Whoa, 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 what's this? Uh, I think there's a jet coming towards me. Get off the runway, get off the runway. Alright, let me turn it here. And I'm just going to go ahead and park at that building. And why is he taking off that way? I thought that we were landing that way. Maybe they changed it. Runway assignments. All right, flaps are all the way up. Let's just go ahead and. No takeoff. Flash. Oh, shut up. Let's go ahead and park here. All right, so <sighs> got a replay of a pretty bad landing. Um, my rudders are fine, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and park right here. Alright, so my next task is to my next task is to uh, reinstall the Phenom and see if that fixes my issue. I think I'll know up front if it does or not. Then I'm going to reinstall that uh, Just Flight uh, L1011 that I got on sale from the FS Pilot Shop. Regularly 44 bucks, got it for 22 Anyway, that's all for now. I am in Florida. I think my next stop is going to be to Orlando, and uh, we'll be doing that in the Phenom again. Hopefully, I can get it working boxed. Boxed crashed on me before. I am not giving up yet.
glad some guy here thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time